Today I'm going to be showing you 5 car builds that you can build in Minecraft. Timestamps will be in the descriptions for each of these vehicles. The first Minecraft car is a race car. To start off with, these are the materials you will need for the race car. You will need 9 concrete of your choice of colour, 5 blackstone slabs, 4 black concrete powder, 4 stone buttons, 7 polished blackstone slabs and 2 blackstone glass. So without any further ado, let's begin with the building of the race car. The first step is to place the 3 blackstone slabs, then place 3 lime concrete, then 2 on each side, then 2 blackstone slabs in the centre. Then place two of your coloured concrete. Then by placing polished blackstone, just as I've done here, you can create the tail. Then placing in the wheels is quite simple. You just need to place down black concrete powder on each of the sides, as well as placing buttons on the black concrete powder. Then finally, place glass on top of the blackstone slab. The next car is a Ford Ranger. For this car, you will need 45 dark prismarine slabs, 19 prismarine walls, two prismarine stairs, 15 dark prismarine stairs, 12 warped trapdoors, 6 cyan carpet, 6 black stained glass planes, 2 black concrete, 16 black stone slabs, 6 spruce slabs, 14 spruce trapdoors, 2 looms, 2 item frames, 14 dark oak signs, 2 bells, 8 cyan banners, 2 red banners with a black chevron and a black pally, and 8 black banners. Now to build the car, start out by placing two dark prismarine slabs. Then next to each of these prismarine slabs, place spruce slabs. Then to create the wheels, you'll need to create them just behind the spruce slabs. So using blackstone stairs, create the wheels. To do that, you just need to have four blackstone stairs in a formation just like this. Once you've done that, place prismarine walls in front of the blackstone stairs. Then place spruce trapdoors on each side of these prismarine walls. Then place black concrete in between these walls. Then place dark oak signs on top of each of the black concrete blocks. Then place item frames on top of each of the walls and add bells into the item frames. Next, come back onto the wheels and place black banners on the top part of each one. Then place a trapdoor next to one side of the wheel. Then two slabs, then a trapdoor. Make sure to do this on both sides. Then you'll need to create another set of wheels just as you did before. Then continue using spruce trap doors two blocks out from these wheels and then connect the two sets of spruce trap doors. The next step is to place dark prismarine slabs on top of the black concrete. Then connecting the top two corners of the wheels place looms. Then on top of the wheels place one dark prismarine slab and one dark prismarine stair. Next connect up the two dark prismarine stairs by placing normal prismarine stairs. Then on top of the slabs and trap doors place dark prismarine stairs in the formation just like this and make sure to do this on both sides. Next place dark prismarine blocks next to each of the wheels on the trap doors as well as in the centre at the back. Then for the other blocks that still have the trap doors place prismarine walls. Then at the back where you place your dark prismarine blocks place dark oak signs on top of them as well as placing two dark oak signs on top of that. Then on the wall blocks next to the signs place the black and red patterns banner. Then adjacent to these banners, place cyan banners. Next, you'll need to place the rest of your dark oak signs along the prismarine walls and the one prismarine block you placed as well. Now you just need to add a layer of dark prismarine slabs over the top of the car as that way it will be a platform for you to stand on. Just like what I've done here. It's also important that at the back part of your Ford Ranger, you have another layer of slabs as that way you won't be able to see the wheels. Then one of the final steps you'll need to do is to add the walls into this Ford Ranger. It's quite simple, just build up from the area that you currently have as well as adding a few windows at the front, just like this. Then for the roof of the Minecraft Ford Ranger, just add carpet along the lines of the edges just like this and fill the rest of the area with the warped trap doors. And finally you'll need to place the 6 remaining cyan banners on the prismarine walls in the corners, just like this. And with that, the Ford Ranger is complete. Next we have the London Red Buses. For this build you'll need a collective of 136 red blocks. This can be red concrete or red wool, but do make sure to have a roughly even divide between the two. You will also need 58 smooth quartz slabs, 2 quartz stairs, 40 black stained glass panes, 4 black concrete powder, 4 stone buttons, 4 andesite walls, 3 doors, 2 item frames, 2 bells, 2 dark oak signs, as well as two birch signs. Start off by placing the two black concrete powder two blocks away from each other. 
The next step is to build out from one of these black concrete powders 10 blocks using smooth quartz slabs, then placing another black concrete powder. Make sure to do this on both sides. Then fill in the gaps between the two smooth quartz areas. Then add an extra two rows of smooth quartz on the back and an extra row of one smooth quartz on the front. Now head back to the front and add one smooth quartz slab on each of the corners. Then add a quartz stair just behind these slabs. Then build in with the 2x2 gap that you have now created using wool. Then place the item frame on the slab you just placed. Then place a bell inside the item frame. Make sure to do this for both sides. Next build across from the left side all the way down to the other wheel using a mixture of red wool and red concrete. Make sure to do this on both sides, however, on the right hand side, make sure to leave a one block space to add a door. Now you just need to place in where you'd like your windows to be, but try to make sure that they're both identical for each side. Fill the rest of the area with your mixture of red wool or red concrete, then have a layer on top of this with just red wool and red concrete, then just repeat this pattern above and you should end up with something like this. However, you'll need to extend the top part just as I've done here and you'll need to connect this overhang using the andesite walls. You also might want to add a back door just like I've done, but it's completely up to you. You could also add some birch signs at the front of your bus just like this for the bus number. And finally, add buttons onto the wheels. This way the wheels will look much more detailed. And with that, the Minecraft London bus is complete. Now it's time to build the Minecraft limo. For the Minecraft limo, you will need a mixture of 46 blocks of white concrete powder and white wool, 19 carpet, two and a half stacks worth of smooth quartz slabs, 30 smooth quartz stairs, 10 quartz stairs, four black concrete powder, four stone buttons, six black glass panes, two black glass, two item frames, and two bells. Place the two black concrete powders two blocks apart from each other, then build behind these two black concrete powders using the smooth quartz slabs 17 blocks. Then place another two black concrete powders and then behind those place another three smooth quartz slabs. Then go back to the front and add one more layer of smooth quartz slabs just like this and then fill in this area. Now go back to the front and place two more slabs, one on each of the points just like this. Then add four quartz stairs in a formation just like you can see on screen now. Then add the item frames on top of these slabs with bells inside them. Then build out three blocks from each of these stairs with a mixture of white wool or white concrete powder. Then cover this with white carpet. And if you want to add a bit of extra depth, you could even add a few gaps where you don't add white carpet. The next step is to continue this pattern of the mixture of white wool and white concrete powder all the way down to the other wheel. The next step is to place two slabs just like this then to place two glass just behind it. Then for the rest of the pattern you created, place smooth quartz stairs on top of it. But a cool little trick you can do to add a little bit more detail is for each of the corners placing normal quartz stairs. That way you'll have a bit more of an outline. And then place a layer of smooth quartz slabs going all the way on top of these stairs and in the area in between. Then using the mixture of white wool and white concrete powder, create a T-shape. Make sure to add some carpets on top of it. And just like we did before, make sure to add some stairs going along the remaining area. And finally, we just need to add some of the smaller details, like the buttons on the wheels, or a few glass spaced out for every three blocks on the side of the Minecraft limo. And with that, the Minecraft limo is complete. And now for the final vehicle, a Minecraft monster truck. For this one, you're going to need 32 blackstone, 32 blackstone stairs, 2 blackstone slabs, 24 smooth quartz blocks, 4 quartz stairs, 6 smooth quartz slabs, 6 polished andesite stairs, 15 stone slabs, 16 andesite walls, 14 polished andesite slabs, 6 iron bars, 8 juke boxes, 5 black stained glass panes, 2 orange stained glass panes, 2 string, 6 black carpet, 10 light blue wool, 4 item frames, and 2 bells. To start off with, you're going to need to create the wheels. Place two blackstone blocks, then on top of that, place two juke boxes, then surround these two juke boxes with more blackstone. Then in the corners of these blackstone, put blackstone stairs, and you should end up with a wheel like this. Then build another wheel three blocks across from this wheel. Then build another set of wheels three blocks behind this set. Place the andesite stairs on the juke boxes, just like this. 
then place two andesite walls on top of these stairs. Then place a stone slab directly behind the polished andesite stair. Then half a block higher and one block behind place another stone slab. And then half a block higher and one block back place a black stone slab. Make sure to do this on both sides. Now go back to the first stone slab you placed and place an andesite wall on it. Then place another one above it and then place an andesite slab on top of that just like you can see on screen now. Next, place three andesite blocks, just like this, and make sure to do this on both sides, and then fill in the gaps between these andesite blocks with andesite walls. Then add stone slabs underneath the andesite walls, apart from the centre one, which you can add an iron bar, and then an andesite slab. Now you just need to copy this on the other side of your monster truck. With the lower half of the monster truck completed, it's time to build the body of the monster truck. So. Using quartz blocks, build around just like this. However, in the front and back, make sure to have the corners with stairs. That way you can put item frames with bells at the front and the orange glass panes at the back. Then go to the side which you have desired to be the front and add glass in a U shape like this. Next, place two smooth quartz blocks behind this glass. Then in the 2x1 gap that is remaining, place lower slabs. Now go back inside the gap that is created between the glass and the secondary wall and place the string in that gap. And then add lines of carpet just like this for the roof and markings of the monster truck. And finally head to the front and back of the car and add one polished andesite stair next to two stone slabs. And with that the Minecraft monster truck is complete. So thank you for watching all the way to the end of this Minecraft tutorial video. Don't forget to like that smash button as well as subscribing to get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Also why not comment down below which one of the cars you'll be building. And if you want another video of mine, you should click the video on the left, maybe the one on the right. Thank you for watching and goodbye!